in this video I'm going to show you how you can import your audio files, MIDI files and music files into GarageBand for iOS. Alright, so you'll want to be working in GarageBand's tracks view for this. If you just want to get here and import your files, the easiest way is to head to the drummer in the instrument select screen when you open a new project and just hit acoustic. The tracks view will load up and you can just mute or delete the drummer region here. The reason being that you need to create at least one track to access the tracks view. Anyway, the next step is to tap on the loop icon in the top right of the screen. There are three tabs at the top of this menu. Apple Loops lets you use GarageBand selection of stock samples, loops and MIDI patterns. It's the other two tabs that we are interested in though. Tap on files and you'll be able to view a list of any files you've imported to GarageBand previously. I have one sitting here already. At the bottom here, you'll want to tap on Browse Items from the Files app. From here, you can select which folder your files are located in, then tap on which one you want to bring into GarageBand. After a few seconds, you'll see the file appear in the browser. Now it's just a case of tapping, holding and dragging your file into a new track. Here's where you'll probably hit a bit of a snag though. Only eight bars of your file will play back. When you open a new project in GarageBand for iOS, it defaults to a single section that is eight bars in length. If you bring a file into this default project, it doesn't matter how long the file is, it will only give you access to the first eight bars because by default, that's how long the project is. So before you bring your file in, tap on the small plus icon in the top right of GarageBand's tracks area, then tap on section A, and then tap on automatic. Now when you bring your file in, the project will match the length of your file and you'll be able to play back all of it. This process is exactly the same for MIDI files. Again, head to the Files tab in the Loop Browser, tap on the Browse Items from the Files app, then navigate to where in your Files app your MIDI files are. Tap on the MIDI file you want to bring in and after a few seconds it will appear in the browser. Then tap, hold and drag it into a new track. GarageBand will create a default software instrument track for your MIDI file when you drag it in. To change the instrument, tap on the piano icon at the top of the screen, tap on the grand piano instrument in the middle there, and then select a new instrument sound from the menus. Bringing in tracks from your Apple Music library works in a similar way, though there are a couple of things you need to bear in mind. You can't bring in any tracks that you haven't downloaded to your device or any tracks that are copy protected. So don't go into this thinking you can just rip any song from Apple Music into your GarageBand projects. That just won't work. Tap on the Music tab in the Media Browser and in this section you can search for specific songs or refine via album, artist, genre, playlists or songs. Any songs that are greyed out are unable to be brought into your project. When you've found the song you want to bring in, again tap hold and drag it into a new track. Last wee tip here, if you double tap on your imported song region and then tap settings, you can loop and reverse it, which is a great way to avoid a copyright strike if you decide to do something like make a tutorial on YouTube with it. That's how to import audio, MIDI and music files into GarageBand for iOS. I'd really appreciate it if you could give that like button a good hard slap if you found this video helpful and watch this next to find out three things that you're doing wrong in GarageBand for iOS and what you should be doing instead. <laughs>